September 5, first day of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the Word of God, He was standing by the lake of Gennesaret. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he had sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats so that they were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish, they had made cease him and all those with him. And likewise, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon, Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord You will be catching men. The call of Simon Peter from fisherman to fisher of men alludes the vocational call of every disciple and follower of Jesus Christ. Simon is caught off guard. His human ingenuity in catching fish results in nothing, while at Jesus' behest he catches an enormous amount of fish. Such extraordinary display overwhelms him, and he declares, I am a sinful man. When God takes over the life of a chosen one, the person is usually overwhelmed by feelings of inadequacy and unworthiness before the tremendous religious experience. Such was the feeling of the prophet Isaiah. I am a man of unclean lips, living among a people of unclean lips, and my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. As the lion roars, strikes fear in everyone, so the divine call drives the prophet to speak. <laughs>